Okay, hello, I'm Elaine, the housekeeper at Howford, and I uh, hope you're going to enjoy your stay here. Welcome. Normally, I would come and meet you myself, but with the current situation, we're doing this on video. So the first thing we're going to show you is the fire alarm, which is situated just inside the back door. If the fire alarm goes off, um, first of all, get everybody out of the house if it really is a fire, but it, it, the chances are it won't be a fire. It's just some little thing have set it off. Smoking in the house sets it off. Spraying aerosols directly underneath the sensor on the ceiling sets it off. So if you know that something's happened and it's not a fire and it's going off, if you could get to it as quickly as possible and switch it off, that would stop the fire brigade coming because they arrive fairly shortly and then they charge us quite a lot of money for a false alarm. So you can come along, the fire alarm's going off, you come in here, silence alarm, then it'll ask you to enter code 2222, it's all written down here. Silence buzzer, buzzer and that silence should buzzer, buzzer and that should shut And at any point after that, any point it's making a little that, beeping noise and all these lights are on, or there's been a power cut, or there's been a power cut, then you just come, come along and go reset, and it'll say code, and it'll say enter code, and it'll, say enter two, code, two, 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 and it'll all go back to just that green light, and that's it. So that's quite simple, but if you can make sure two or three people in the house know how to silence that in case people are using aerosols or doing that kind of stuff. So we'll move on to the central heating now, thank you. Right, here we are at the central heating console. Um, we put the heat, this is hot water here, HWCH central heating, and we set it on a timer, both of them, and I think it's gonna be coming on at seven in the morning, goes off at 11 in the morning, comes back on at five in the afternoon, goes off at 11 in the evening, and for this time of the year, that should be plenty. Whatever you do, do not please just go pinging it straight over to on and leaving it there because I can assure you, you will drain the tank of oil. This is a very thirsty system. So if you can just go by the times, but if you happen to be in the house of a lunchtime and it's a freezing cold day or something, then you can come along to the central heating and just press advance and that will bring it forward to the next time. But that's really only if it's a very cold day and you're in at lunchtime. So we'll just think that's, that's that. And we're just gonna, here at the back door here, I'll just open that door. So you go down these steps, be careful if it's slippy, but you cross this little garden and over there in the corner in the garage there are sacks of logs. So we'll provide you with a couple of big baskets of logs on the house and if you want to use any logs thereafter, help yourself and they're £10 a bag. Um, what we normally do is leave the money on the table or leave a note to say you've had six bags or whatever or two bags and Catherine will deduct it from your housekeeping. Okay, now here we are over at the dresser in the kitchen with the Welcome to How Ford book, which is all laminated, nicely laminated. So all that fire information that I told you, stuff like that is all in here, places to go, stuff to do, doctor's numbers, etc. This is a welcome pack for you, some lovely square burial. <laughs> Uh, on this dressing book there will also be some passes for Traquair grounds, unfortunately not for the house because we're not yet open there because of the restrictions, so. but there will be a pass there to get you into the grounds um, for free. Um, you can also use the tennis court at Traquair House, um, the tennis rackets and balls are in the corridor along beside the um, ground floor bathroom. Um, we also have in the garage a table tennis table, outdoor table tennis table. Use it outside by all means and if it's raining put it back in the shed you know, at night before you go to come in. Please don't bring it into the house, somebody did that once and it was, the effect was chaotic, let me say that. Um, there's croquet through there as well, a croquet set which is quite fun to play down at the bottom of the garden. There'll be a barbecue out in the garage as well where the table tennis table is so you can use that and you can buy charcoal at the co-op and then I'll leave a notice they had the foyer full of charcoal the other day. So there you go. Um, I think that's all I needed to say from this particular station. Perfect. This is the, this here on this little hall table is the front door key for the front door just over here. Um, I don't know, it seems unimportant, but if you could please make sure you leave the front door key here when you leave, because we have been in the past known to spend a lot of time looking for the front door key. Now this is my air hostess bit. Um, this is a linen bag, this here, and I will be putting one of these in each bedroom. And we normally do ask guests um, to strip the beds when they leave, but on, you know, in, 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 in new normal times, we're gonna ask you to go one step further and strip your bed of both sheets. We're using two sheets on top of the mattress, two pillowcases, covers 
and the duvet cover. Strip everything off and put them in this bag with your towels. Even if you haven't used all your towels, you, there's one that's clean, don't care, just put it in the bag. Uh, and if, if you're near a bathroom, pick up the bath mat as well and stick that in a bag. And if you can do that, tie the bag up, it's quite simple. Just leave it here in the hall and we can take that away to the laundry. So we're still in the hall, but the sitting room is just here. You probably can't see it. Anyway, the sitting room is just there and that's where the Wi-Fi is in the corner. The code for the Wi-Fi is on the back of the modem and it's also written in the book that I showed you earlier in the kitchen. Now the Wi-Fi really only works in the sitting room, so if you want to download stuff, Zoom, FaceTime, all that kind of stuff, you really have to do it in the sitting room. Um, just a word about the rubbish. When you leave, um, if you could please take your bags of rubbish from the kitchen, whatever, down into the bins at the bottom of the drive. The blue lidded bin is for recycling and the other two bins are for normal rubbish. The green lidded bin can take any kind of overspill if one of them happens to be a bit fuller than the other. Um, Please don't put your bottles in the bins down there because we'd have to just get them out again and take them to the recycling. But there's a recycling centre bottle bank at the co-op in Inner Eden and one in Peebles in the Tesco car park. So if you could just take your bottles there, that would be much appreciated. I'm just going to ask you to do it before you leave. And, you know, if you can, please leave by 10 a.m. in this current time. Uh, that gives us more time to prepare for the next guests coming. Um, and when you go, if you could actually open your windows in your bedroom, if you've got an opening window in the bedroom, just open the windows a bit and let the air in, that, that would be very, very handy. Okay, so I hope you enjoy your stay and have a lovely time. Um, I'm just on the end of the phone. I just live a mile up the road in the village, so call any time if there's a problem or a query, just give me a call. My number is in the book and the head guest will have my number on his phone already or her phone. Okay, thank you very much. Enjoy your holiday.